All right, so here's the circuit in question. It's a opto-driven MOSFET H-bridge that I designed quite some time ago. I dug it up and put it together for a proof of concept. The only real modification I've made to this circuit from the one you'll probably find on the internet is that I've added these four flyback diodes just to help protect the MOSFET from voltage spikes because the motor is inductive so of course it could provide current in the wrong direction. Um, so here it is. The circuit actually built. It's exactly what's in the schematic and it's attached to the motor output of the servo you can see its guts are ripped out here I even removed the motor and the gears so that way the potentiometer inside is more free to move and it's attached to one of these high torque eBay Hong Kong motors and then I have the whole thing connected up to two channels of my oscope so that way I could monitor the outputs of the optocouplers just so I can see when the MOSFETs are turning on and off. Because uh, because I'm using an old servo, I, haven't, I uh, tend to get some spikes every now and then. And I also just want to point out the importance to making this work. It is very important to make sure that you have a very firm connection between your feedback arm and whatever the thing is that's moving. If there's a lot of jiggle or free movement, then you're not going to get a good feedback response and it's going to cause a lot of jitter on the output shaft. So it's very important to have these all connected pretty nicely, pretty firmly, with, with no, uh, no room for jostling. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. You can see it's already pretty stable. And let's look at the oscope as I move it. All right, and let's check out the uh, temperature on these MOSFETs. Still pretty cool, although you can feel them starting to warm up. So this, by no means, is a professional grade circuit. So, I don't recommend that it be used for a servo undergoing continuous rotation. It's definitely good for um, basically these, these momentary movements. Uh, the only time they really even get warm is when it's fighting to achieve that perfect position. Uh, during the quick motions is actually when it runs the coolest. But when it's attempting to reach equilibrium, that's when it gets warm. So you definitely want to try to put heat sinks on there when you're building this yourself. So there it is. It works. Good luck out there.